Hello, this is Mark from Farm Pest Management. Tough Tactical Tools sent me this precision digital scope level to check out. Looks like fun. Let's see what it does. Okay, we're gonna put this on the gun, but before we do, let me just show you this. First off, it's beautifully machined. Very nice. Goes on a Picatinny. It's got a nice beefy knob right here to tighten and snug it down. It has the power button up here, and it has a mode button in here, which I'll go into a little bit later. It's nicely designed, looks good. All right, let's put it on the gun. First of all, we need to know what roll and pitch is. So, this is roll. This is pitch. And this is cosine. If we're gonna shoot up into a tree, we're gonna need to know what that incline is or the cosine. So, I'm feeling that the gun is fairly straight right here, just by looking through the crosshairs. Now, let's put on the Tough Tactical Tours Precision Digital Scope Level. And turn it on. And I can already see that I'm 0.8 degrees off to my left. So let's correct that. And you can see the indicator arrows going right if it's too far to the right, or left if it's going too far to the left. So let's get it centered. There we go, dead center. So if you see the arrows facing the right, you need to cant to the left more and vice versa. If you see the arrows on the left, you need to cant to the right. The more arrows, the further off you are. I do like the sensitivity of this device. As I mentioned before, it's built very nicely, but the sensitivity is really good. I do like that fact. It reacts very fast to your movements. Even at 50 yards, a little bit of cant to the left or right could be the difference between a headshot or wound in an animal or a totally missed shot in that case. So it's very important that you don't have your gun canted. Tough Tactical Tools has also built in a zero mode. So for instance, if you wanted to shoot uphill, let's say, and that's your target, you can hold the mode button for 1.5 seconds, and it zeroes the level. That's a nice touch, especially if you're constantly shooting in that one area and you wanna make sure that if you move your gun just a little bit here or there, you can always go back to that zero. And to re-zero the level again, hold it for 1.5 seconds and it will put it back to factory specs. Here are a few things that I've observed. These digits over here would be nice if they were further over to the left, further away so that your peripheral vision will be able to pick it up easier. Right now, it's pushed back here towards the scope, making it a little harder to see. The other thing is the backlight. Sometimes when I'm in a little darker situation, it's very hard to see these digits. Maybe it would be nice to have a green light in whatever mode that you're in to indicate that you're dead center or level. And one other thing I've noticed is Jonathan, who I shoot with on the farms, he's a lefty. And so this would not work on his gun, but I do hear that they might be making a left-hand version. I did move the unit further forward because it was a little bit hard for me to see 
with the peripheral vision because it needs to come out a little further for my liking. And keep in mind that if you wanted to move it further forward on your scope rails, a lot of the turrets these days are beefy and a lot larger, so making it much harder to see. Well, that's it for this review on the Tough Tactical Tours Digital Level Meter. It's a nice piece of kit, and for the price, you can't go wrong. It does have those little things that I mentioned that uh, I would like to see personally changed, but that's me. You might be totally fine with those and have no issues whatsoever. Anyway, thanks for watching. Cheers.